Thank you very much for joining us. This is Serious Matters on Onyx TV. Well, um, this one, uh, one news where we say, nah, uh, he get a CV. Nigerian police, they plan two week strike over salary and outdated weapon. Policemen and women are planning to go on an unprecedented two weeks warning strike across the nation beginning on March 26 in protest against poor working conditions uh, and, you know, other things. Uh, this is coming on the heels of um, um, ASU actually increasing or extending um, their strike by another two months. That means that uh, students will have to remain at home for the next two uh, months. Well, the morale of police officers is said to be at the low here, um, with many grumbling about poor salaries, a lack of genuine welfare benefits, and outdated weapons. Uh, when you consider the kind of weapons that we use in Nigeria, you know that, well, they are, they are out of it at all. So, God forbid, bad thing. And sometimes, we, we, we sit down, we compare the kind of weapons that these um, bandits and all of them uses. There's no way uh, our, our, our officers, our officers will be able to combat these guys with the kind of weapons that we still carry around. We are supposed to be carrying more sophisticated weapons than, you know, the bandits. Ah, they are bandits and all of these terrorists having access to good weapons when the people who are legally supposed to have access to you know weapons are not having them and you know i've always advocated for police you know remuneration you know being paid properly proper insurance for every police officer they are on they are also unhappy with continuous killings of their colleague by armed robbers and terrorists without adequate compensation for their families in a letter to the authorities the representative of their group police officers demanded improved condition of service particularly salary increase and provision of modern weapon as they tackle the security challenges facing the country. I believe strongly that if they have good, you know, packages and very good weapons, they will be motivated to go combat and um, these guys. And all that we are saying within a within a twinkle of an eye, you know, all this issue of banditry and all of this will become a thing of the past. The letter reads: The Nigerian government lied about the increment of police salary on march 10 2022 it has been observed with utmost dissatisfaction how the federal government and the minister of police appears lied to the general public about the increment of our salaries it has always been discussed on every occasion that the increment of would be done since the increment incidents of the ends hashtag NSAS protest that led to the loss of many lives of the men of the forces more so, it has been observed by the men of the forces that there, there's nothing good the federal government will do for the police because they had already made an announcement that they, they've increased our salaries, which is not true. With the lackadaisical attitude of the government and the Ministry of Police Affairs, it shows that there was nothing like um, a salary increase or increment. The aggrieved police officer insisted they deserve to be treated with respect by the government as they protect almost every political uh, personality. They lamented that they are treated like slaves despite their contribution to national development. We don't have good salaries and our gratuities are very poor compared to what, uh, what is obtained in our parts uh, of the other parts of the world. They said, um, and I mean, they said rather, asked to respond to the possibilities of the force going on strike acting um force public relation officer fp rocsp muiwade jobe told our correspondent that they would react to the story later uh well um media however learned that the uh police hierarchy is worried and has accelerated the letter to the minister of police affairs mohammed maigari uh dingi Adi for his attention. Of course, something has to be done very, very quickly because uh, police still deserve while are they not to now talk of the when they they are now on strike. Please don't go on strike. But I also beg that the government will do something about this. My name is Oluku Lebra and of course we are also we are always advocating for good governance and also um you know when it comes to security um we on serious matters at ONIF TV here take security is very, very serious. And, you know, when we talk about our people, 
who are out there in uniform helping to secure the society um, we always advocate that they be treated very very well and that's why we talked extensively about the young man who was killed um, um, by accident at um, one of the former governor's house on there in Ogun State some weeks back and of course uh, you know we said quite a number of things okay Please do drop your comments and make them simple and um, civil. And also, please do share our videos with others. But then, this is coming as a breaking news. And should we be afraid? In any case, let's see what the response is going to be. We're going to bring you updates in a moment. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.